Hi, and welcome to DFA 2023. This is the International Defense Exhibitions, which take place in Athens, Greece. During three days, Arm Recognition is the official online show daily news and web TV for the event. Today, Greece has launched a new modernization programs to modernize its armed forces in the field of land, air and sea. Come to see us and discover the latest innovation and technology showcased by international and national defense company at DFEA. So welcome to Altus. We are a drone operator and the drone manufacturer. And today you're going to see in the show uh, the whole suite of uh, Altus UAVs uh, that cover a wide uh, range of uh, defense and security operations. Actually, it can take uh, 24 60 uh, millimeter mortars. Uh, now you see it with a configuration of uh, six. The total payload capacity of uh, Atlas 8 system is 40 kilograms at the moment, and uh, he's able to deliver this uh, payload at uh, distances of 25 kilometers from the station. As a heavy lifter uh, platform, the first consideration, apart from the lifting capacity, also it's uh, safety. Okay, because it's designed to operate in a very uh, harsh conditions and uh, has to be very robust. So we have uh, eight electric motors supporting the four uh, arms of uh, the UAV. Uh, on top of the UAV we have the canopy, uh, but also because of uh, the high current and the high payload capacity we have accumulated uh, a cooling system of the UAV uh, in order to cool the electric capacitors. Under the UAV you have belly mount payload bay where you can uh, have different type of payloads, either on a cargo configuration if you want to move uh, cargo, any other uh, weaponized uh, systems. This is Edomon platform. We uh, cooperate with uh, Super Volo from US that provides a platform and we integrate our suite of uh, electronics and uh, payloads. Edomon is a tactical reconnaissance uh, UAV that is able to fly for seven hours at uh, long distances for 150 kilometers range. It's already operational with the Cyprus Coast Guard and the Hellenic Police and we're looking forward for many other customers. This is a hybrid system. It has many unique uh, capabilities. First of all, it takes off like a conventional drone and then the thermal engine kicks off and starts operating as a normal fixed wing uh, aircraft. Also, it has a generator, onboard electric generator, that is coupled with a thermal motor. And in case of an engine failure, this generator is turning into an electric motor. So you can continue the flight with the electric configuration. This is Atlas 4 UAV. This is Atlas 4 UAV, already operational with a variety of customers. One of them being EMSA, European Maritime Safety Agency. So it's been deployed in the port of Marseille, in Greece and many, and now it's in, in Lithuania operating for maritime uh, surveillance, but also for emissions measurement from ships in order to verify the sulfur capacity. The configuration you see it here is with the EOIR and the laser range uh, finder, a searchlight, and it has the capacity to, at the same time, to be equipped with uh, several other payloads as well. This is from our uh, partners, Graltec, in Italy. We collaborate together in a European Union uh, development program that has many unmanned assets in the field, uh, surface vessel, submarine vessel, and aerial assets that are all working together in order to execute long-range persistent surveillance uh, missions. And the next project we're going to have this system is to deploy it from the Atlas 8 on over a maritime uh, environment in combined missions, air and UV asset uh, cooperation. Now you can see all the ASPIS modular fully integrated on a Leo 2A4, tailor-made and ready for mission. EODH proudly is dealing with protection and saving life. Also, we protect platforms and we are engaged in mobility protection as well as 4x4 uh, vehicle. We are also enhancing our cooperation with partners such as Valhalla with the new turret Nimrod 300 and also we are promoting upgrade packages which are urgently needed. As you can see, the threats nowadays and the challenges we are facing are enormous. The capacity is behind. Strategic materials are in heavy demand. But thanks to our company, we are ahead, capable, we are producing. We plan a new factory and next year we are doubling our capacity. The ASPIS protection system is a combination of active, reactive and passive 
protection systems integrated into a holistic solution. Usually, you are protecting the crew from the sides, but nowadays the top attack became a must. Proudly, we can say that EODH has a solution protecting the crew from top attack. Another element of ASPIS is that it's a modular. It can be integrated in the field within hours. This is giving the uh, opportunity for the crew not to top up too much weight on the MBT, but to install it in the field. The combination of smart materials and also technologies interacting together is the secret of ASPIS. Another innovation is spoofing. ASPIS spoofing. It's a cooperation with an Israeli company and we provided a spoofing technology integrated in ASPIS protection system. To give you an example, everything is electronics nowadays. If you manage to open your mobile and instead of showing that you are in Greece, it will show that you are in Honolulu, then the UAV which is attacking will lose his orientation and then landed in a totally different area rather than go on, on top of the tank. This is the spoofing. We have been in discussion, and it's not secret, with major manufacturers of tanks. It's not only the Leopard, because it's modular. And as peace, you are talking about a Greek system, 100% Greek system. Of course, it was based on the technology which we inherited before, which it was German technology, but nowadays the ASPIS is 100% Greek. So we are independent and we are open to other countries, NATO-friendly countries and European countries for solutions. After all, we are protecting life. The pool stands for Precise and Universal Launching System. It's uh, under, still under rocket artillery, but basically it enables uh, what we call long-range precise rocket artillery. It has three main advantages that we see today. First of all, it is agnostic to the platform. It has a flexible architecture, meaning that it can support a variety of uh, platforms, 6x6, 8x8, variety of vendors, so this is the first one. The second one is that it supports a variety of uh, rocket and missiles, both guided and unguided uh, missiles for a variety of ranges like you see here. There is the Akula for 35, Extra for 150, Predator Hawk for 300 kilometers, and even free flight. I think for us the main advantage is that we can customize or tailor the specific launching system to the specific operational requirements of the end user. One example is that if we already have trucks, for example, Tatra trucks or Iveco or Scania or MAN or a variety of other trucks in his logistic fleet, we can make sure that the launcher will be mounted on the same platform and thus to save the life cycle cost significantly in terms of the maintenance and support afterwards. Now, it's, everything is done from the cabin by two soldiers, two to three soldiers, depending on how you operate it. Fully automatic, everything is done. Once receiving a target, for example, in less than 60 seconds, you are ready to fire. And then after 30 seconds, you are gone. So shoot and scoot capability as well. So when talking about guided rockets, you need ICDs that we can provide into the fire control system, the FCS, because with guided munition, you need to communicate with the missile. So we are offering our own guided munition. But if other vendors would like to uh, the pools to launch their munition as well. We need to be given the ICDs and then we can support them as well. It's totally flexible and totally open. My name is Fanis Alevras and I'm uh, electrical engineer. Our company is Sukos Robots. It is placed in Larissa, Greece. Today now we have three systems. Usually they are used for uh, anti-drone weapons and they can provide soft kill and hard kill to protect the areas from drone attacks. The systems can uh, detect drones up to 35 kilometers and uh, for the destruction rates about uh, 15 kilometers. We have uh, a 300 solid state laser. It can be operated in three axes in all directions for a complete 360 degrees protection of the vehicle and the area. Uh, we have the radars cover 30 kilometers 
We have a, a leader sensor is used for autonomy driving of the vehicle and we have the, power, the autonomous power supply a battery pack. We also have a weapon system that is 0.5 caliber. The advantage is that you can use the laser without making any sounds, without the cost of ammunition. You can use it in areas that there are civilians nearby. There are many advantages for the use of laser. This is just an example. You can place it on frigates, on land, on buildings. You can place it everywhere. You will need at least four crew members, one for driving the vehicle, one for controlling the navigator system, one for controlling the laser modules, and one gunman. This is the seat for the navigator. In the middle of the vehicle, it's a moving turret that controls the laser module. The operator turns and moves with the direction of the laser. He has screens on his eyes that he can aim and shoot. In the front, there is the driver. There on the screen, there is the, the operator that controls the gun. The guns.